the last thing that I had mentioned in the in-person video that I want to mention also in this video is please do not wear fur, who a letter. You have no idea who's gonna interview you. You have no idea if that person is not a big advocate against animal cruelty and here you are walking in on screen with a big fur coat or a leather jacket, whatever you're wearing. Please play it safe. I understand that people are not supposed to let their preference take over, but we're human. My name is Marinelle, I am a fashion stylist. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. On this platform, we're all about sharing fashion tips, fashion tricks, and the focus of this video will be to share a few tips that I hope will help you while you're getting ready for a virtual interview. Now, I'm not sure when you're watching this, but this video is being recorded in 2020, and because of the lockdown, the pandemic, there are many businesses, the employees are still working from home. Now, because of that, if they need someone to join their team, the interview will most likely happen virtually. Also, let's not forget that there are many, many jobs that are not, not virtual only, but that are also virtual. For example, virtual administrative assistant, um, there are virtual teacher, virtual tutor, um, customer service. There are many, many, many remote agents that are doing customer service nowadays. Businesses are not afraid to hire someone outside of their city. Unfortunately, um, luckily, I'm sorry, luckily, because it gives an opportunity for everybody to work for certain businesses that they did not think they could work before. But an interview is an interview. It doesn't matter how it is performed. You still need to look good. You still need to be put together. You still need to dress up. You still need to be comfortable as well and in this video I would love to share a few tips that I hope will help you achieve that some of the tips that I mentioned in the what to wear for in-person interview they're still valid they still apply therefore I would love to mention them also in this video I recommend you guys to pick your outfit ahead of time it will be one less thing to worry about one less thing to stress about the day of the interview I also recommend you guys to make sure that your outfit is clean neat and press make sure that there are no stains make sure that the outfit is wrinkle free make sure that you are groomed and dressed appropriately tip number three pay attention to the colors that you are wearing and make sure that they are suitable for the industry that you want to be a part of I would definitely advise you guys to wear neutral colors or soft colors and not something that is bright or flashy just to keep it professional. Also the focus should be on you, what you're saying, your clothes should not be a distraction. Same thing for patterns, I definitely advise you guys to wear something that has less patterns or no patterns at all. Um, let's go back to the colors for a few seconds. I would definitely advise you guys to wear blue, white, cocoa or grey. Blue of course, not something that is light blue or flashy blue something that is navy blue or just a regular blue please avoid wearing red orange or multicolorful outfit or yellow and pink those two colors they don't really look good on camera therefore go for neutral colors as i said earlier when it comes to the patterns let's just go to the patterns now when it comes to the patterns if you guys do choose to wear patterns i really 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 hope that you guys don't wear stripes herringbone i'm pretty sure you have no idea what i'm saying by herringbone and i would definitely put a picture in this on the screen while i'm talking or a link in the description below for you guys to check it out but yeah avoid wearing stripes herringbones and bird ties weave you have no idea what i'm talking about also right those three patterns they are not camera friendly at all matter of fact they will distort on camera and it will be very 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 hard for the interviewer to focus on you on what you're saying as I said earlier, tip number three and tip number four, it is just for you to not be a distraction. The interviewer should focus on you, what you're saying, your speech, and your clothes should not distract him from that. Last thing that I had mentioned in the in-person video that I want to mention also in this video is please do not wear fur, who a letter. You have no idea who's going to interview you. You have no idea if that person is not a big advocate against animal cruelty and here you are walking in on screen with a big fur coat or a leather jacket, whatever you're wearing. Please play it safe. I understand that people are not supposed to let their preference take over, but we're human. We want to be around people who, someone who shares the same values as us, someone who shares the same interests as us. Therefore, if they see you walking in with a big fur coat and a big leather jacket, it might not 
play in your favor. It, it might not help you at all. Just play it safe and avoid wearing those things. You know what? I'm gonna share something else that I also shared in another video. So I lied. This is not the last thing. Please do not wear anything that has a logo on it or that show that you're a part of whatever club because for the same thing as the fur, the who and the letter, you don't know who that person is. And you might be wearing something that they don't like, something that they, they don't want to be associated with, something that they don't want, they, they wish that nobody in their business is a part of. As I said, they're not supposed to let their interest take over, but no, don't just, just avoid wearing them. It might not help you let's say just play it safe tip number nine dress as if you're going to an in-person interview don't feel like well you know what i'm at home so i'm gonna be more casual more relaxed no you need you still need to dress the part you still need to dress up dress as if you're going to the in-person interview the next tip that i'm gonna share is please dress from head to toes don't believe that only the top half matters because that's what they see on the screen. Make sure that you're also wearing something at the bottom because you never know. What if your phone, tablets, or computer falls? What if the person asks you to stand up? You never know what can happen. Make sure that you're wearing something also like a pants or a skirt. Make sure that you're dressed from head to toes. While I'm saying this, I know I said make sure that you're dressed from head to toes and most of the time say so they're only gonna see the top okay I get it I understand but that is not a good reason for you to wear uh, leggings or pajamas you still need to wear something that is appropriate and that is my next tip make sure that you dress from head to toes but make sure that you're also wearing something that is uh, that is appropriate in the bottom make sure that you're wearing a paint of work pants like a skirt shoes just make sure that you're comfortable when speaking of shoes make sure that you're not wearing flip-flops or anything comfortable i'm not telling you to wear high heels of course wear flats let's say but make sure that you are not only dressed from head to toes but make sure that you're wearing something appropriate also something that is work related at the bottom ditch the earrings and ditch the hat i had read countless articles and countless blogs that had mentioned that it is good to wear headphones or earphones when you're doing an online interview you it is just because you want the person to hear you clearly and you also want to hear the person clearly therefore don't always rely on the building speakers have your headphones or have your earphones and I definitely want to share that with you as well make sure that you do have your headphones or make sure that you do have your earphones therefore to help you just don't wear earrings because it's just gonna be it might let's say if you are in big earrings it might be tang it, it might be tangled in the earphones and if you're wearing a hat it's not gonna be a good thing if you don't have your phones and you only have headphones then the hat will definitely not help with that make sure that you don't wear earrings or you don't wear a hat if you do choose to wear earrings make sure it's something small just like mine something that is not gonna be tangled in the head um, in the earphones if there is a wall behind you please don't wear the same color as your background that is simply not to blend in do you imagine doing an online interview and the person can only see your head or your arms i mean that will be funny but no don't wear the same color as your background make sure that you stand out stand out in a good way of course but just don't wear the same color as your background last but not least wear something that you're comfortable wearing something that you love wearing something that you enjoy because usually when you're wearing something that you're comfortable in something that you love you are more confident you are more happy and having a lot of confidence will definitely help you nail that interview therefore wear something that you enjoy wearing something that you're very comfortable that you can easily Easily sit down that you can easily move around don't wear high heels like I said earlier wear flats and yeah, just be comfortable so that you can just nail that interview so that you can kill that interview but there you have it guys my tips on what to wear for a virtual interview like I said earlier an interview is an interview doesn't matter how it is performed therefore you need to put as much effort as how you look for that online for that virtual interview as you would if you were going to an in-person interview and I truly hope that video was a good resource if you did enjoy that video please give it a thumbs up and like I said check out the video for the in-person interview as well you might find a few tips that can help you for the online video you never know the link will be in the description below I will also write the link of a few other videos that you can definitely been watch on this channel well you need to get ready for an interview you know what Keep that in mind, go get ready for your interview, go focus on what the, on, on the industry, you learn about the business, etc. But make sure that you give that video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to that channel as well to be a part of the Stylist Tips and Tricks tribe and I will see you guys in another video.